guys, it's Deb up on the Kidaholic Kits channel and I've got something a little different for you today using the archival, archival inks from um, the Mixed Media Kit. Now I'm showing you a few products here and these are all from my stash. Some watercolour paper that I got from the discount shop. Some just normal 4x6 four, four photo paper and some white American Crafts cardstock. I've got my ink pads out. Now this is what we need is the rubbing alcohol to make this work. Um, I'm also bringing in the stamp set and we're going to create some pretty cool backgrounds. Oh and I um, do put some gesso on my little cardstock too. Um, the rubbing alcohol is very important in this um, in that we're pretty much going to be making our own alcohol inks. Um, this was the only rubbing alcohol I had on hand and it worked fine as long as it's well ventilated. I really, really want to stress that. Do not do this unless you're in a well ventilated area. So I thought I'd start out by putting some gesso down so it could dry and I started painting it and it was leaving those brush strokes. Not that I mind because once you do mix, well, I, this is my uh, what I like is um, having that texture and brush strokes and all that in the background. So I end up getting my scraper out and um, just scraping the gesso on. And I'm using one of the 12 by 12 baggies that came in our kit. I think, what am I doing? Oh, sorry, I'm going to cut down some of the watercolour paper. A lot of what I'm going to create today will be used in my project life spread so uh, yes so we need a slick surface and I'm just going to smoosh the archival, archi I can't say it, archival ink into the plastic bag as you would any other ink pad. Now these these are going to dry fast so you have to work work fast so spraying it with the rubbing alcohol and this is what activates it and we can get some pretty cool backgrounds that um, coordinate with our kit. So what I'm doing first is using the watercolour paper and it really does uh, soak into that watercolour paper. Um, so I'm just testing or trying out a few different colour combos there. I don't end up using the grey though. The grey will appear at the end of the video. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Um, really, um, it the wrap, rubbing alcohol, if I could get my words out, um, does put off a little bit of an odour, but um, we had some hot days here and I can't smell it on the, the um, cards anymore, so I think it's evaporated enough um, for the smell to, to go. Now, I'm using the... Uh, I was going to say watercolour paper, I'm not. I'm using the photo paper. And the reason I'm using photo paper was I had no glossy cardstock. So same procedure, just smushing down the ink, spraying it with the rubbing alcohol and wait till you see this, it is glorious. Oh, it turns out so well on the gloss. Um, I should have sprayed before I did this one but I still love the results and there will be pics at the end of the video oh and another thing to stress too is I cleaned the baggie very very well after every time I had sprayed the rubbing alcohol onto the bag because you don't want the rubbing alcohol getting into your ink pads because um, it does um, Rubbing alcohol actually can help clean up your stamps and um, things like that. So I didn't want to contaminate my ink pads with the rubbing alcohol. So I, I really did clean it quite um, well between um, each time I sprayed it and each time I smushed down my ink pads. So look at all these results. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, that was another bit of photo paper. Giving it a good clean again. I'm sorry... I am running on very little sleep so if I sound a bit rambly or uh, doesn't sound like I know what I'm talking about that's the reason I'm just running on very minimal sleep at the moment. Uh, picking another um, 
some more colors spraying it again I'm just gonna go through the whole process I I did do a lot of the um, photo paper because it just came out so gorgeous and honestly it didn't take very long to dry now this is the piece of cardstock that had no gesso it was just the cardstock straight up and it really does soak into it so now that I've got my backgrounds done I'm inking up the little birdie that was in the stamp in the main kit and I'm going to stamp him out a couple of times I um, I used some black archival ink that was my stash my Fiskars stamp press and a bit of fun foam behind to try and get the best impression I could so I'm going to fussy cut these out oh another warning too is that because that um, photo paper is got that gloss finish the stamps tend to stick to it sometimes so when you lift the your stamp block or stamp press up sometimes the stamp will be stuck to the photo paper not such a problem easy to peel off so I just stamped a bit of watercolor paper with the uh, bird as well and now I'm pulling out that cute little vine circle and the love this sentiment and I'm going to uh, stamp on this card this one's going to be fussy cut out I do another one I think this one was on the photo uh, the watercolor paper yes this one was um, the photo paper look how beautiful that is um, I do cut it down to 3x4 as I said I most likely going to be using a lot of this in my project life spread so um, just stamping that sentiment and um, the vines straight in the middle you can see my stamp got stuck easy to peel away and there is the result very very gorgeous I love this that's the other side of the photo paper and what am I going to do now I can't remember packing everything up oh that's right I'm going to do the 9 by 12 piece of cardstock I gessoed so um, laying down all the colors um, I do use all three all three colors the purple the teal and the pink and I'm going to really really spray this with a lot of um, rubbing alcohol and give that paper a good smush onto the plastic and then I come in with some photo paper and um, just mop up the excess I do fuzzy cut um, all my little birdies out I only roughly did it um, till I know what I'm going to use them on and I'm going to get my punches out and just make a whole pile of different punches to use in my project life um, they're gonna perfectly coordinate with the rest of the kit and I'm really excited to use it I've actually got some A4 um, glossy photo paper and I'm keen to try that as a large background I love the way the gessoed cardstock turned out but I would love just an A4 size piece of um, glossy uh, background of this it's so gorgeous so just using a variety of different punches butterflies hearts um, my uh, tab punch that mini little pink heart punch which I bought in the Kidaholics online store and I'm going to give you some close-ups of the birdies so when I do use them I will probably trim around them a little bit neater this one's my favorite I love that tiny bit of pink and the, the blue that comes down his back it's so pretty that was the watercolor paper and then I'm going to show you oh that was the watercolor paper on that one as well and these were all the glossy uh, photo paper that I punched out so pretty it turned out so pretty um, this idea was not mine I had seen this on um, I think it was scrap time videos I think that's what their channel's called she did 
um, a background for one of her greeting cards with the um, alcohol ink and rubbing alcohol and that is why I uh, where I got the idea sorry there's all my little punched out pieces and my birdies and that and I'm going to slow down the footage on each of these so you can have a closer look I just oh it's just so beautiful and marbled and oh I was drooling the next I think it was the next one's my favorite yeah I, no it wasn't this one yeah it was this one but just so pretty I just love that variation and oh and you never get the same the same background twice so very um, it was just really really cool just to spend the afternoon playing and um, creating all this so that is my project for you today guys I will be incorporating this into my um, project life and possibly a few other projects so keep an eye out on for that during the month I'm sorry for my scratchy voice I've got a cold uh, not a cold a chest infection and the lack of sleep <laughs> not the best week for me but um, so don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe all the info will be in the description below and you're you'll see <laughs> this is the great ink coming up no is it in the stills I left my inks out on the table and Ava got my grey ink and swiped this piece of paper with it. <laughs> oh, she said she was trying to help me make something. So you'll see possibly a few little grey bits on it in the still photos. So anyway guys, I'm off. I will see you in the next video and happy creating with your October kits. Bye!